I know y'all thought I was going to be talking in it. <laughs> Choose here. Um, oh, you know what? I'm doing it wrong. So this is Mexican. I don't usually have Mexican, uh, but a co-worker a couple days ago had um, a steak burrito. And I was like, I need that in my life. So that's what this is. Um, and this was a ground beef torta. Um, don't know that I'm going to eat all of it. I have about 29 minutes. I'm not going to use it all. I also want to try some um, flavored water. This is Wild Berry Splash from Nestle. And if I don't like that, I've gone ahead and got myself my trusted Arnold Palmer half lemonade, half um, iced tea, strawberry flavor. Um, so I'm going to get started here now. Hope you guys have had a wonderful um day so far. It's Wednesday. It's, uh, I think it's, oh, just a little after 5.30 Chicago time. It's from a place I always forget if it's called Taco Burrito House or Taco Burrito Palace but um, that's where it's from and the reason I'm showing it like this is because someone had um, requested to see the food I can't this table is small I can't move the camera back any further I don't know how I, I don't know how I like this personally but Let me know if it works for you guys. I really don't want anything hot, but... It's almost like you can't have Mexican if you don't have anything hot with it. <clears throat> you guys have taco burrito palaces or houses near you? I don't know if it's, it's probably not just a Chicago thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's not too bad. No. This, it's wild berry. It's, I, can, I can taste that flavor in there. Okay, all right. Chaka Khan. That is spectacular indeed. Need another alternative. This is very good. It is, I'm sure, not the best steak burrito in town. <clears throat> now it's falling apart. I just asked them to, to put everything on it. I didn't I didn't want for it to be this all messy, see? I'm just start getting dry ass sandwiches, fuck it. Licking my fingers, I don't care. That 
I'm gonna start buying these. This I can rock with. I'm having trouble, and I see people on videos, in their videos, they do it all the time. They, they um, drink regular water with their dinner. I really have a problem with that. It's just not satisfying to me, but I figured if I'm gonna get something that's a little healthier drink-wise, than all the sugars I've been ingesting drinking this stuff. And this is the way to go. Mm. Now, Am I supposed to use, am I supposed to cut this in half? I don't want to cut it. I want to handle it. It's ground beef. What's everything? Lettuce, tomato, sour cream. I think there's some cheese in here too. Yeah. Big ass torta. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm. I'm getting adventurous with this. This salt, this it's not very hot, but it's it's you know for me it's hot. Some of us. Um. So. What am I going to talk about? There's a heart-wrenching story in the news here about this uh, newborn that they found uh, outside on a dumpster, on top of a dumpster, in the cold last night. And they are wondering if the mother is this uh, recent uh, teenage girl who was recently um, missing. They gave the girl's name. This is, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I can't remember her name. Um, when I hear this story, I just, I wanna cry and scream. That's all I can, I, I literally wanna cry and scream because I feel like, you know, what is up with the human condition? really that 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 happens you know that that has to happen you know i'm sure there was fear involved uh, carelessness and the baby just have no kind of chance at life and the baby is fine I, I do want to put that out the baby is fine but still it's just like oh how can you do that anyway i'll get off that subject because that's really it makes me just angry I know I brought it up, but I'm going to call my friend tonight. I haven't talked to him. We see each other all the time on Facebook, but I haven't talked to him in ages. Looking forward to that. Hmm. He lives in, um, he lives in Wisconsin.
clubbed for years together. But we truly need to catch up, so. We'll do that in a little while. Probably after I upload this video. No, I wanted this to be crispy on the outside. I asked him, I said, do you all have something crispy? A sandwich that's crispy on the outside. And he said a torta. This is not crispy. I'm a good mind to put this in some grease. But it is tasty, I will say that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so glad I bought this. This was a good purchase. Little splash. I definitely like this. Um, this is, I was talking with somebody about this. Oh, lovely lady eats. You know, particularly, unless the person has a host of things going on on their channel or a detailed kind of list of what they wanted to talk about or address. I was talking to Lovely Lady Eats. We were, when you're doing lives, sometimes it's, we depend on you guys to, you know, kind of bring up stuff to talk about maybe. Uh, but sometimes some people ask some ridiculous questions and I always think, God, is you know, are there kids here or something like that? <clears throat> but we don't always have, well, I'll speak for myself. I don't always have stuff to talk about. And then in my mind, I'm thinking that Some of you are probably going, well, if you don't have shit to say, shut your mouth and just eat, you know? <laughs> but the one thing, I mean, it's, it's the one thing I do like about lives is that there is that possibility that a viewer is going to have something to kind of bring up that people can, that I can engage about and people can... You know, other viewers can maybe talk about. And like now, there is a freedom because I'm, you know, yeah, I still don't have shit to talk about <laughs> now. <laughs> but, um, it's kind of like, I feel like if I don't say anything, then, and this is four years of doing this, like I really, it shouldn't even be an issue with me, <clears throat> but just so y'all know, it's, it, it is still like, if there's a lull in, um, conversation, sometimes the food is just good and it's like, screw them. They probably just, you know, watching it as they're trying to fall asleep anyway. They ain't worried about, they probably haven't even gotten this far. But I think there are people who do uh, sometimes watch these videos to the end when they have more time or listen to them to the end, at least when they have the time to do it. And I just want to keep it interesting. But 
I feel like if I don't say anything, it's just kind of a lull. And with, in the lives, it's kind of embarrassing when there's a lull. At least for me, I kind of feel that way. I don't want to be like feeling like I'm under any kind of, I'm looking at the time, feeling like I'm under any kind of pressure to like keep it. Okay. Wait a minute. Now that the food is over, I can do this now. So I don't necessarily want to feel uh, pressuring myself to be like always having to say something. I can just kind of relax, enjoy my food, make sure I'm showing you guys. Sometimes the food is so good I forget to show y'all. <laughs> but so let's see. Maybe I'll talk about some of the videos I've I've watched. Um ASMR Dream Chew, uh, he did a video where he he tried Oreo cookie cereal. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it looked really good. I think I might have to buy that. I was, I remember one time I, and I left this comment on his, uh, on that video, I think I, one time I went, I was in the store shopping and I filmed myself in a cereal aisle. I was at Walmart. This was a while back. And I saw Sour Patch cereal and Oreos and Chip Ahoy's. And I went online after seeing the Sour Patch and I was like, there's no way I would try that. Well, he wound up trying it. He had some more dream too recently. And I guess he pretty much liked it, but I I I, I can't do it. Like I'm I think about the Sour Patch candy, and I think it's gonna taste like that. And, and with milk, I'm like Oh, yeah, no. But he tried Oreo cookie cereal. And I, at, at first, I wanted to do a, a combo of Oreo cookie cereal with the Chips Ahoy cereal. And just have a taste test to see which one, well, to see which one tasted better. But I don't know. I think the Oreo cook, the, um, the Chips Ahoy one might taste like, what's that cereal? Oh. Um, uh, Y'all know, Cookie Crisp. A cereal that I only wish they had in vanilla. I, the chocolate chip is okay, but I need for that to be in vanilla. They used to have a vanilla flavor, and I really love that flavor. Um, who else is video? So, though, he had a video where he was responding. He filmed himself responding uh, to comments on the Oreo cookie cereal. The Oreo serial video so that was pretty cool um he responded to my comment as well um b loves life uh she, i watched a little bit of her video i guess she has gone had a tummy tuck and um butt implants or whatever and she was just kind of taking her audience through that and you know showing the scars and just all the different phases they were really, I mean, she really decided to reveal a lot and not in a, in a, in a bad way or, you know, a, a graphic way, unless you don't like seeing scars or whatever. But she showed like the catheter that was hanging out of her and all this stuff that was really kind of interesting. Um, and the end result, I mean... She looks pretty good. I never knew what she looked like from the neck down because I don't. I mean, I'm new to her channel, so so it was good to see her. And I was. It was confirmed to me that she was a Chicago girl, so I appreciate that, of course. Um, someone had asked me about German food review. All I know is that sometime last month he said he would be back soon with the video, but never saw anything. And um, I still don't know what's up with Juicy Tingles. I tried to look on her last video. There's no one leaving an update on anything. So I don't know. I hope she's okay, though. And um, what else if I video one has... Suave Boom, uh, he um, he wants me. Uh, <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> no, uh, 
I'd be fooling around with him, joking, joking around with him. <laughs> he had a um, Papa Euros video. And I was like, I've never had that. I really want that. I need to have that in my life, I think. Have y'all had that? Respond in the comments. Um, what else? German Freak, uh, ASMR. He had a nice video uh, that I saw recently. And who else? Who else? Oh, I can't think. I can't think. I, I really um, was trying to just kind of look at stuff online that I had missed, like the whole Rolling Stones. The the Not the Rolling Stone, the Hall of Fame, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I keep calling it Rolling Stone. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I wanted to um, see The Cure. And just uh, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails inducted them into the Hall of Fame. And... Um, So that was pretty cool to see. I mean, I never thought they, a band like that, would ever. I never thought when I was into them that they would even have a hit in the U.S. But they had several U.S. hits, you know, and became really popular. And uh, I belong to the Susie and the Banshees group on uh, Facebook. And Robert Smith, the lead singer of The Cure, played for them uh, a few years in the early years in the early 80s and um i had posted a comment uh, i posted a uh in, in in the in the group asking you know you know what about Susie? you know do you think she'd care do you all care do you think robert smith even cared because he had this really kind of flippant response where the reporter backstage was like aren't you guys excited and he was like, I'm oh, not as excited as you are, and so, or something like that, really dry. And uh, people were commenting and talking about how the Hall of Fame is a joke and it's an industry thing. Why would anyone want to be associated with anything so industry uh, involved? And uh, this one guy was, he. I guess they had talked about it before in the group, and I didn't know anything about it. So he had just had enough. Every time I think I'm done with this topic, someone brings it up. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, sorry if I ruffled your boa, <laughs> okay? But uh, I didn't know it was a prior topic uh, in the group. It's really not a big deal. I hate when people do that. Like, if you don't want to talk about something, don't fucking say anything. Shut the fuck up. Really. The, the, truly, the world would be a much better place. But other than that, it's just like, I don't know. It was just, it was just weird. Just that whole thing. I Stuff like that, I understand why people don't want to be involved with social media. I really don't. This is not a mukbang anymore. It's like a rant. I've banged all my muck. But yeah, people just, you know, they just make me ill. Like, they you, they act like they have to respond to every fucking thing. And it's like, you can, I, I said, you know, anyone not wanting to see this topic, feel free to bypass it. You really can. It's a free country. And yeah, like, you don't have to feel compelled to respond just because you're a Banshees fan. If you're sick and tired of it, you don't have to come on and express how sick and tired of it you are. Because I, I take that as personal. You know, like if I don't want to, if I don't want to talk about something or be like, oh Lord, this again, I just don't say anything and go on to something else. But everybody's got to have that. They got to say that. What they, they want to try to make people feel a certain type of way. But see, I'm this every day. I'm all every day, all day. I'm this. This is what you get from me. So, you know, I don't care. It's 24 minutes. I've all, I've, I, there's no more muck to bang. All there is is sipping. Has anyone ever just sipped on a, uh, at the end of like the video? Like, oh, I could do this. I'm not making fun of anybody. I swear I'm not. 
I don't think that's gonna, I got to do it like this. See, that's fucked up. Oh my God, really quickly, and then I'll go, cause this is becoming pointless. Um, a long time ago, my cousin, <laughs> Hope he doesn't ever see this. My cousin used to do something that he called playing bottles. And what that was, he would take, they were full bottles. And he would take like bottles of Glade, um, different spray, household sprays and things of that nature. Maybe cooking bottles. And he would have them fight and this was this was how they would fight he would like do this with the box <laughs> i thought about that shit one day like recently and fell out i must have been holding something or i might i think maybe no i think it was someone had you know was doing one of these and i was like oh my god my cousin would, he would not have been a good ASMR person. Because, I mean, they would... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that was entertaining to him. But it was. And I used to just watch him. I used to just just be amazed <laughs> at, at his interest level in it. But at any rate... I'm full and that was a good meal. And thank you guys once again for watching. Um, you know, I, I the video, the the I mean the the Wingstop gift card. Today is the eighth. So there are seven more days for you guys. There's only two entries so far. Um, this could be a very easy contest for the ones if you're watching, the ones who entered, very easy contest. No one seems to want to make a video or have the time to or feel like it or comfortable with it or whatever. Um, but you know, it's going to happen. Uh, I don't know that I'll see any of you guys. I, I think you guys will probably be really busy for mother's day. So I don't know if I'll come on live Sunday. Um, but in the event that I don't, uh, come on and do a live, um, I do what I would want to take this time to wish all of my chubby mamas, and all of the people that I'm subscribed to who are mothers or who are uh, mothers to be, I want to take this early time to wish you all a very happy Mother's Day. My mom's birthday is on the 10th and I'm going over there on Sunday on Mother's Day. So I'll be doing something special for her. My presumption is that you all will be busy. I could try to do a live in the evening, but I don't know what's happening. Y'all let me know in the comments if you want me to. Don't forget to like the video, you guys. I still got a PayPal going. I would love to go to some of these places y'all want me to go to to have the food, but I need help. So thank you and have a good night. Bye. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh, I almost took up the whole thing. Okay, let me stop this shit now.